As the biggest race of the year, there are always plenty of riders willing to chance their hand at the Tour de France. A brave move could see a rider take a stage win, wear yellow, or even make the podium. There will be no shortage of riders ready to go on the attack in the hope that they can add their name into the Tour's history books. Here are Cycling News' five wildcards for the Tour de France. Mikhail Kwiatkowski was one of the revelations of the 2013 Tour de France. He finished third in the Young Riders competition last year after fading in the final week. The Polish rider will be aiming for the white jersey once again and is a realistic challenger for the top 10. Kwiatkowski had a fantastic start to the season but has floundered a little in recent weeks, struggling to find form at the Dauphiné. His team believed that this downturn could be due to illness, but time is running out for him to recover. Jens Voigt might be one of the oldest riders in the peloton, but he does his best not to show it. The German is probably one of the most aggressive riders on a bike and has rarely seen a breakaway he doesn't like. If Voigt is selected for this year's tour, it'll be his last, as he retires at the end of the season. Going out in a blaze of glory will be the only way he knows how, so expect to see him trying to get into plenty of escapes. Thibaut Pinot will lead the FDJ team for the third time at the Tour de France. Last year's race saw him crippled by his fear of descending and reduced him to tears before he finally abandoned due to illness. He came back to finish 7th at the Vuelta a España and will be looking to build on that this year. His recent performance at the Tour de Suisse was a little lacking, but he is still one of France's best shots at a top 10. Along with Pinot, Roman Bardet is part of the future of French cycling. The 82R Le Mondial rider was the top Frenchman at last year's race after finishing 15th. Bardet is a strong climber, although he sometimes lacks a little to stay with the top men. However, he was on very good form at the Dauphiné earlier this month. Bardet will be one of the riders happy to see the reduction in time trial kilometres, something that will help him reach his goal of making the top 10 for the first time. Sylvain Chavanel will lead EM Cycling as they make their debut at the Tour de France. There is little doubt that his presence has helped the team earn their first Grand Tour start. Chavanel's target this July is another stage victory to add to the three that he's already got. His experience on the cobbles make him a potential contender for victory on stage five. Chavanel wore the maillot jaune for two days during the 2010 edition of the race, and stage two to Sheffield is a prime opportunity to add a few more.